Welcome to day seven of renovating this old property. As you can see, the roof is complete. We still have to do the gutters. So let me show you the progress so far. Check it out. As you can see, we have a brand new roof and we have some vents as well. Previously, there were no vents whatsoever. This house had three roofs, one metal one and two shingles on top. Replacing this roof was definitely a job. Also taking off the metal roof underneath, man, it definitely took some time. As you can see, we are removing the insulation from the bottom. Also the air vents from the HVAC system. The gutters are removed as well. Doors, dumpster is full. We are waiting on another one to arrive, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Now, let me show you the inside progress. Check it out. Obviously not much difference from the last video. I did clean the entire bottom of this room, we removed all the junk underneath. As you can see, the majority of the electrical has all been cut. That is where the electrical box is. All of the electrical will be replaced with new electrical. As you can see right here, we do have some jacks trying to lift this corner up. All new beams have been installed. We're still working on this, so it is not complete. All of this stuff in the center will be leveled out as well after we jack it up to the appropriate height. Right here, clean the bottom out for the plumber. Plumber is coming tomorrow to redo all of this plumbing. So I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. Also, the HVAC system, all of those metal pipes that were going through uh, the living room, the bedrooms, the kitchen, the bathroom are going to be removed. And the new HVAC system will be installed in the attic, which will free up a lot of space in the bathroom. All right, as you can see, we have purchased all of the plumbing stuff required. Bunch of bags, pipes, everything is ready to go for the plumber to start tomorrow. The doors are in. Today, we removed the, the door that was separating these two bedrooms. Obviously, it is not cool to have two doors leading to one bedroom and going from one room to another, especially if there's a husband and wife and kids in one room. You do not want the kids just opening up and hearing everything. So we took that door off today. We are framing uh, this door. We're gonna add some drywall insulation on both sides. We are going to smooth everything out and make it look like a door was never here in the first place. As you can see, guys, this house is very, very old, but we will get everything in order and everything will be ready, hopefully in a month. So far, everything is looking good. There were no major, major surprises. Personally, I knew all of this was coming except the electrical. I thought the electrical was intact so that was definitely not in the budget. I had around $500 allocated for electrical. That is replacing all of the older plugs, the light switches. You see this plug right here, extremely old. So that is what I have $500. I wanted to put all new plugs and, and uh, switches. But now it looks like we are going to be going way over budget on electrical, simply because we will need to rewire the entire house. Obviously, we cannot put the floor down before the electrical and plumbing gets done simply because with the floor out, it makes it way easier for the electrician to go over here to connect all the electrical, makes it way, way easier. So once the plumbing is done and the electrical, the plywood will go on top over here and we are going to be done with the floor finally. And as you can see in this other room, we do have all the plywood stacked up. So that is pretty much all that we have done so far. Hopefully tomorrow all the plumbing will be complete. Next week, the HVAC guy is also starting. He's gonna install a new AC, new pretty much everything, and the electrical will be started as well. Next week will be extremely busy. Today was a very slow day. Me and my brother, we arrived very late. So all we did was remove the door, framed it a little bit, worked on uh, this area right here but we are now heading out and that is pretty much it for today and now let's go over to the spreadsheet so i can show you all the money that i have spent so far on this project let's go when we take a look at day seven and all the money that we have spent today 
you will see that I spent $25.18 on the 2x4s that I am using to frame the area where the door was so we can separate both of the rooms and eliminate that door completely. And on the plumbing material, I spent $706.92. Also, the plumber is charging me $1,000 for the labor as well. I haven't paid him yet because the job is not done. Once the job is complete, I will pay it and probably on day eight or nine, I will include that expense as well. I ended up paying the roofers $1,500 for labor and if you combine the and if you combine the cost of labor and the cost of materials you will see that i got a decent price on the roof so for day seven this is the money that i have spent now that brings our total expenses so far to seven thousand five hundred and ninety three dollars and ninety six cents as i told you before as more time goes on more money will be spent on day eight, I plan on purchasing another dumpster, some drywall, and a couple of other things as well. So stay tuned for those videos. And as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video. Peace out.